Hello and welcome to Premier Classics, where we take a look back at the 2003-2004 Premiership campaign. Tonight's game sees United travel to St James's Park to take on to Bobby Robson's Newcastle United. The Reds will be full of confidence following their comfortable opening day win against Bolton. Now, without further ado, let's hand you over to your commentary team of Paddy Crowland. But first of all, Steve Bauer. Well, a warm welcome to the North East and St James's Park for United's first away game in the Premiership this season. This fixture needs no introduction, it always produces goals and it's always one of the most entertaining games of the year. Well, I think Newcastle United are one of the most entertaining teams in the Premier League, Steve. I think their midfield forward and their front two are as good as anybody, but a back four I think sometimes lets them down. And it seems only yesterday that we were here in April, of course, that fantastic day. We can't expect such dizzy heights today, though. Well, you never know, we always live in hope, do you? When you look at the Newcastle team and their back four again, you think there's a possibility they're going to Let's have a look at the two teams for you then. Uh, United, first of all, they make two changes to the side that open the season with that victory over Bolton Wanderers. Injuries rule out Quinton Fortune and Nicky Butt. So into the defence comes John O'Shea. And there's a full debut for Eric Jemba Jemba in the centre of midfield, having appeared as a substitute, of course, against Wanderers. Ronaldo is once again on substitutes bench, and he's joined there today by another summer signing for the first time in the 16, Cleverson. Oh, you only got to go back four or five months ago and see that this play John O'Shea gave it left back here against Newcastle. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Certainly everybody was. But I'm looking forward to Jemba Jemba. I've been saying all along, if he gets in the team, he's going to stay there. Newcastle United make three changes from the side that drew 2-2 at Leeds in their opening fixture. They're without Craig Bellamy and Jonathan Woodgate, both out injured. That's a blow to Bobby Robson. And he also drops Olivier Bernard to the bench. Aaron Hughes moves to left-back. Andy Griffin comes in at right-back. There's also starts for Titus Bramble in defence and Shola Amiobi up front. And there's a home debut for Newcastle on the right side of midfield for Lee Bowyer. Well, our conversation all the way at the ground, Steve, was about the Newcastle team. We heard about the back four. When you look at the back four, you think, well, I don't fancy them, do you? Griffin, O'Brien, Bramble and Hughes, you don't fancy them. Woodgate's a big blow to them, as is Bellamy up front. He's a massive blow to them as well. Ami Obi's not got the pace of Bellamy, so he shouldn't be a problem. So, you would think United should win this one. Fasten your seatbelts then for what is always one of the most memorable fixtures of the season. This is the 19th fixture in the Premiership between these two and United have only lost three and memories are still very vivid of the last time they came to St James's Park. The entire Newcastle programme today is full of Newcastle players saying we're trying to get the nightmare out of our system. There's a bouncing ball immediately for Amiobi, and it's cleared by O'Shea, and the offside flag is up. Footballers have long memories, Pat, those Newcastle players were taught oh, a lesson are. that day. Yeah, without doubt, there'll be that doubt in the Newcastle players' minds. So if United can get the ball down early, Steve, and keep a hold of it, they'll certainly be worried, Newcastle. Early challenge from Ferdinand on Amiobi, who is in for the injured Craig Bellamy. The same player blocked that clearance from Phil Neville. Always helter-skelter starts these matches. Bobby Robson getting a feel of the ball as well. His 199th game in charge of Newcastle today. Really has turned this club around. Amiobi backing in. Unpredictable, this young fella, isn't he? He's got great ability, Steve. I sometimes don't think he's got the sense to go with it. But he's a big awkward handful, and so is Alan Shearer, and they're going to have a fight in their hands, the two central defenders, Mikel Sylvester and Mia Ferdinand. Skulls finding a bit of space on the left-hand side to O'Shea. First touch for Jemba Jemba on his full debut. Fair challenge on Skulls, but Jemba Jemba's won it back, and then he lost his footing. The pitch has been watered prior to kick-off, and then Skulls won it back. And Giggs has found Van Nistelrooy, who's taking on Aaron Hughes, and that was deflected, and that's a corner to United. Well, the goalie had to be alert there, hadn't he? I mean, he did well, rude to make room for the shot. Just takes a touch off Hughes, corner. Yeah, we'll see it here, he does well, Rod. Rude to turn and spin. Just takes a little deflection off Hughes and goes for the corner. O'Shea, Sylvester, Ferdinand all up for this corner which Giggs is going to take. 
keen as ever is on the near post. It's over keen though. Oh, and they were arriving. And it was uh, John O'Shea got the header in and given his uh, Ireland teammate needed to make the save. And then the follow-up shot from Paul Scholes. Well, I think he's a bit fortunate. The goalkeeper, Shea, giving the header goes straight at him. I mean, there's two United players going and attack this. It's a Shea and Sylvester, and Shea's the one that headers it. Poor luck, the Beasley are going in. Yeah, what a start that could have been and would have been, but fortunately enough for Shea, given the ball, it goes straight at him. Well, John O'Shea, who scored his first goal for Ireland in the week, of course, against Australia, was very close to his first goal for United as well. What a week that would have been. That's coming to the path of Amiobic, who's tried to turn Ferdinand, and Tim Howard was very brave. Big shouts from the penalty from the crowd, you have to say. Uriah Rennie, today's official, wasn't interested. Yeah, I think he lost his foot more than anything. Nice quiet start to this fixture as always. Yeah, I think Abdul will be lost his footing. I think that's what he's done. He's turned here and I think he just slips. He's fallen now. He's fallen now. He was always fallen. Ferdinand this time with Shearer, then it's Amiobi and Silvestra. Now O'Shea. Shearer has fouled him. Well, that's a real challenge from Shearer and Jonah Shearer. Right in front of the linesman. He's had his problems in this fixture, of course, Alan Shearer. Many felt he shouldn't have been on the pitch last season, in it. Well, I think he's lucky to get away with this one as well. It's a little bit of a wild challenge. That's an aim taking offence, surely. Alan Shearer has had his problems with uh, today's official, Uriah Rennick. He's the only referee ever to have sent him off in the Premiership. And there was... Uh, Bit of unhappiness in the Newcastle camp that he was the official today. Aaron Hughes to Bowyer on his home debut to Speed. That's comfortably through to Tim Howard. Well, Amiobi will feel he has a point to prove today as well. Well, I think the problem the United two centre defenders have got is they're going to have to battle against the two front men. They're going to have to fight them. Away by Sylvester. Little nudge there from Andy O'Brien. It's coming out of Keane. Bramble in on Van Nistelrooy. Titus Bramble again. Kieran Dyer takes over. Now Andy Griffin. Always serves up so much incident, this fixture, not to mention goals. 27 goals in the last four games between these two. Doesn't say a lot for the defences, does it? <laughs> <laughs> and we could have had a goal already through John O'Shea. It's Gary Speed, who captain Wales in midweek, of course. Just a note on that, in terms of perhaps later on in the game, United have eight players in their starting lineup who featured in internationals this week. Newcastle only have three, of which Speed is one. Yeah, it makes a difference if there's a lot of travelling involved. It doesn't help players. And then you have a situation with Nicky Buck getting injured as well. No wonder managers go off their head. And that's why there's a full debut for that man today, Eric Jemba Jemba. Certainly looks ready for it, doesn't he? Uh, not a problem for him, Steve. Very confident young man. Dyer to speed. No uh, genus in the Newcastle starting lineup. Who scored the goal, of course, early on last season. He's on the bench today. Robert accused. That's not a bad ball, and that was uh, alert goalkeeping from Tim Howard. Well, good goalkeeping. He's got to come for that because Ami Obi's at the back post. Ferdinand. It's over hit right the way through to Shea Given. He played every minute and every second of games last season for Bobby Robson. Yeah, he'll have that 6-2 score in his mind as well, Steve. Don't worry about that. He won't. The past is the past. Shearer to Amiobi. Lee Bowyer. He played against United last season in West Ham colours. 
Up with Ferdinand, Bowie's former Leeds teammate, of course. Still good friends, Keane. Now Solskjaer, scored in both fixtures against Newcastle last season. Just a little over, hit towards Phil Neville on the overlap. There's the first challenge from Jemba Jemba, and that was a fair one. It's a throw in, says Uri Rennie. Yeah, he got the ball, Jemba Jemba, didn't he? Yeah, he certainly puts himself about. You like to see that in midfield players. Speed looking for Shearer. Good jump from O'Shea. Griffin. That's rolled into Kieran Dyer. Sylvester sticking closely to him. Back out to Shearer. Might fall here for Gary Speed, who likes a shot, as we know. And in the end, he's uh, overhit that one for Lauren Robert. Yeah, not one of his better passes, is it? Signed a new one-year contract with Newcastle in the summer, an extension to his current deal, Gary Speed. And Nistelroy. Skulls drifting in. Strong challenges out there at the moment. There's another one, but uh, United have it back. Well, it's something you expect the first ten minutes of any game, Steve. A lot of tackling. Skulls looking for Solskjaer, battling away with Bramble. And what he might lack in pace, he has got in strength, Titus Bramble. Back in the Newcastle starting lineup today. Important challenge and a very good one from Sylvester on Shearer. And this the right. Caught by Andy Griffin. Yeah, he's going to get booked for that. That's a well tackle from the back. Not allowed to tackle from the back. Yeah, it's a little bit of a late challenge. He doesn't do a great deal of damage to it, but well, he made it look good as well, good, didn't he? Well, it's taken almost ten minutes, but the first yellow card is out of Uriah Rennie's notebook, and it's going to the former Stoke City player, given his chance by Lou Macari when he was the manager of Stoke, Andy Griffin. Well, it's a bit unfortunate to be booked, Steve, because certainly Alan Shearer's challenge and John O'Shea was a lot worse than that. Now, it's uh, given a free kick a long way out. Must be nearly 40 yards, this. Uh, surely Paul Scholes is not going to hit this, is he? Giggs has left it. There's been an encroachment. Well, it's not the kicker's fault. Shearer's doing the encroaching. He's got to wait till the ball's played. So it's not Roy Keane's fault. He can't move until the ball's kicked. And it is Scholes, and it is Shearer who blocks it. Back in from Jamba Jamba and the offside flag is up. Ruud van Nistelrooy, you may not be surprised to hear, has scored in all four of his Manchester United games against Newcastle. He got a hat-trick in one game, and Scholes, of course, got a hat-trick in the other. And those two unbelievable fixtures last season. Newcastle conceded 48 league goals during the whole campaign, and 11 of them we're against United. This is an unbelievable statistic. Nil-nil so far here today. Lee Bowie for Newcastle. Comfortable for Tim Howard in his second game for the club. One clean sheet already under his belt. Yeah, it's a big moment for him as well, Steve. First of game away from home. Certainly with the atmosphere you have at Newcastle, as good as any you'll get in any ground. Behind Old Trafford, it is the biggest stadium in the Premiership, St James's Park, and it is uh, full as always today. Ami Obi. Foul by Keane on Shearer. Well, he's got a case as well, Roy's played the ball though. But maybe the crowd got Alan Shearer that free kick. 
acquaintances renewed. I don't think they're very good, good acquaintances, to say the least. Well, Bobby Robson's having a long conversation with the fourth official, Jeff Winter, there. Well, you know exactly what we'll be saying. He says he should get booked for that if Andy Griffith get booked. Now then, Lauren Robert is behind this free kick, which he whips in towards the back post, and Roy Keane puts behind for a corner, and he wanted Tim Howard to come for that. Yeah, and he likes Tim know as well, doesn't he? Oh, but it's an awkward one for a goalkeeper, that ball swinging away from the goal all the time. There's a crowd of players, you tell them, Tim. Here comes the corner. Well, that was a, a decent opportunity, to say the least, for Titus Bramble. That's a free header, Steve, he should do a lot better than that. I mean, he's totally unmarked when he comes into the box there, nobody picks him up at all. Free header from about seven yards. Oh, he should have done better than that. Thankfully, he hasn't. Nobody that was marking the United him. marking. Yeah, no marking at all. Well, that's what people have got to converse with each other. Never scored for Newcastle. We want that to stay the same today. That's towards Shearer as ever. Run by Sylvester. And headed back by Titus Bramble. He and Ferdinand important figures today. Yeah, as I say, Steve, they will fight for everything, Shearer and Nami Obi and United's two central defenders have got to fight them, particularly for balls like this. And they've got to win them, they've not won very many so far. Another free header for Bramble at the other end of the field. Then won by Keane. He gets it back from Solskjaer, Van Nistelrooy is onside. Andy O'Brien is coming across to him. And the Republic of Ireland International concedes the corner. Yeah, you've looked for good to try and work that ball in early because all he's got in the box unmarked. Probably didn't see him. Now, arguably both sides could have scored from a corner so far. O'Shea at one end and Bramble at the other. Ferdinand is also up for this one. Short to Solskjaer. And back to Giggs. Deeper one, Given didn't get there, but uh, your irony says he was fouled, and it's a free kick to Newcastle. I think he's just hindered by John O'Shea. But you look at those balls been swung across the Newcastle box, and the defence don't look very comfortable with them. Now Jonathan Woodgate not playing is a big blow for Newcastle's back four. Well, for by Bramble, Steve, there's not a great deal of height in the back four. And the goalie's not the tallest either for a goalkeeper. Well won by Phil Neville. Yeah, that's brave play by Phil Neville, because Phil Neville was always second there with Robert. But he didn't he made sure he wasn't, Phil. Jamba Jamba. O'Shea, who almost Scored his first goal here last season as well, remember? That fourth goal that crashed against the crossbar, and it was a similar run to that one. Which is going to throw. Fouled by Jemba Jemba. Another Newcastle free kick. Laurent Robert foul this time, who scored in this fixture two years ago. The first goal, that free kick. Dyer. Comfortably won back by Key. And then won back by Robert. And now Jemba Jemba. Searching ball, looking for Solskjaer. Beautiful ball as well. And he knew Phil Neville was on the overlap. This is promising for United. There's three red shirts inside. One here is Giggs. Oh, and it wouldn't quite hold up for him. Jemba Jemba now. Phil Neville's on the right again. Keane is trying to find skulls, and that's too strong for him, and he's annoyed at himself. Yeah, the original ball on side to Ryan. Giggs just gets stuck in front of Ryan, or rather behind him. Yeah, Roy just overhit that one to Paul Skulls. Must be yeah. digging deep on the energy levels today, Ryan Giggs. Of course, uh, was a late rival back from Serbia, the manager 
Wanted to check that he was okay for today. Yeah, I think it was four o'clock in the morning. Mind you, he's a little tired in this fixture last season, the birth of his first baby in the week. Played pretty well after that, so... He should be all right. He scored in his last two visits to St James's Park, Ryan Giggs, as well. Overhit again by Keith. He started off not bad, Titus Bramble. I thought he might have been a problem for Newcastle, but up to now he hasn't been. It's a Newcastle throw. Just a reminder how formidable Newcastle were at home last season. Before United came here and won 6-2, they'd taken 43 points from 48 at home. It really was uh, a fortress in James's Park, only Leeds had won here. United came and blew that apart. Good movement from Giggs. Almost got round Bramble. Well, it's amazing that 6-2 game as well, Steve. You were thinking of Newcastle United, the one that had a chance in the championship. Now then, United throw, which Phil Neville is going to take. Fresh from another England cap. Over Keane, free header by Bramble. Well won by Ferdinand. And again. Flag is up. Well, he wasn't offside. That's the crowd that made that decision for the linesman. He certainly was not offside when that ball was played. Very, very late flag from the linesman. I think maybe a few supporters down on that bench giving him a bit of stick. Made him stick his flag up. That happens sometimes. Ooh, very nearly a unfortunate ricochet there, away by Ferdinand in the end, and that flag is up again against Van Nistelrooy. Andy O'Brien to take the free kick for Newcastle, towards Shearer. Run by Ferdinand, back to Aaron Hughes. Shearer again. Space out on that Newcastle right now for Andy Griffith. Boya. He's got the cross in and that's comfortable for Tim Howard. 20 minutes gone then, Pat, what have you made of it? Oh, well, United haven't really played yet. Not settled down half to the fashion movements that they know they can do. But they've battled very hard, Newcastle United. You should have let it go. You've well done, referee. He has. This is Van Nistelrooy. That was a fair challenge. Won the ball, Bramble. Well done, referee. Letting that go. He won the ball there, Bramble. That was Van Nistelrooy at his very best there, creating something from nothing. But uh, full credit to the Newcastle player. Just got back in time, well timed. Gave him a little bit of desperation in that as well, Steve. The strength of Jemba Jemba over there. Sylvester, as calm as ever back there. Solskjaer is onside. Giggs is inside of him, Scholes is in support as well. Here is Scholes. Leon says you're ironic. That was plenty of commitment from both sides out there at the moment. This is Rob Air for Newcastle. Bowyer making the run forward, and it's come to Bowyer now. Tim Howard, out of his goal to clear. Just got to be careful not to be caught there, United, on those movements. Now Giggs. Ooh. Oh, he could be sent off for that, Steve. He oh, he's not given it. He's not given it, he should be sent off for that. I can't believe that. Well, it is the ball at the other end cut out by Shea. That is a defining moment. Not even a free kick, let alone oh, a colour well of the card. The referee bottled out, because if he does give a free kick, he has to send them off. Here's Giggs again with the same player. And it's out for a throw. Well, Ryan Giggs has gone racing to Uriah Rennick. 
all the United players well, furious. Well, he's right as well. I mean, he's right as well. He's bottled out the referee because the referee knows he's got to send him off. That's a sending off offence. I cannot believe he's not sent him off. Well, he didn't get the ball, did he? He didn't get the ball. He got the man and he's the last man. Well, Andy O'Brien, the lucky he, man. Don't know how he's got away with that. Cowardly refereeing, you've got to say, Steve. He bottled out of that, the referee. He knows he's got to send him off. Well, he's now speaking out of your picture to his uh, fourth official, Jeff Winter. I think Alec Fergus has probably said something to him. He could be sent off here, the manager, I think. And well, he's uh, had a word in his ear. Yeah, but that's all down to the referee making a bad decision. Oh, he is getting his sent off. Yeah. So you're right, Rennie has sent Alec Ferguson from the dugout. He's only getting sent off because of bad refereeing. Well, Jeff Winter had a part to play in that as well. Well, obviously, Alex said something to him. Jeff Winter could take no other action, probably. Ball is back in play. Skulls. Jemba Jemba now. Runs straight into Kieran Dyer. Now Griffith. And you just wonder how important that incident could be. Bad refereeing, Steve. Now, if players and managers get into trouble with bad decisions, the referee should get into trouble for that decision. He should also be helped by his assistant as well in that situation. Well, we know how brave assistants are, don't we? I don't know why they're there sometimes. This is Van Nistelrooy. No, oh, the referee saw that one, he was right on top of him. Well, you're right, Rani. Oh, that's pathetic. That is pathetic, referee. That is pathetic. Five yards difference, and he's playing it from behind where the free kick was taken, was given. He's had his moments of controversy in his refereeing career. He sent off Roy Keane, of course, last season at Sunderland. Here is Keane. Solskjaer couldn't get round Hughes, this is Scholes. Now Jemba Jemba. Dyer now. Loves to carry the ball from those midfield areas, Kieran Dyer. This is Aaron Hughes, and now Robert. Dear me, dear me, referee. Well, that's a free kick against United. Paul Scholes is not too impressed. Well, I'm not either, Steve. Even if it did hit his hand, how in God's earth can the referee see it with the position he was in? Has he gone by the crowd? Now, these are dangerous situations. Robert with that left foot. Free header, goal. Newcastle lead, it's him again. Alan Shearer, unchallenged, to head past Tim Howard from a free kick that was very, very dubious, to say the least. Well, Steve, he's pissed Mikel Silvestre. He's pushed Mikel Silvestre, what do you see it? Shearer's pushed him in the back, that's why the United players are complaining. He's pushed him in the back. Watch here, pushes Mikel Silvestre, down he goes. Every one of the Newcastle players back round, they're not very far from their own goal, every one of them. Ferdinand. Too strong for Van Nistelrooy, free header for Andy O'Brien. Back in from Ferdinand, the flag is up. The free is going to play on because uh, Shea Given, the Newcastle goalkeeper, has it in his hands. Well, he's controlled that with his hand, hasn't he, as well? <laughs> Dear be referee. Are you watching the same game as me? Now 
Newcastle throw. Newcastle have only beaten United in three of the last nine league meetings here. United haven't won too many of those either. So they're leading the reigning champions by a goal to nil at the moment. Gamble again playing his part. The expression doesn't tell the story as far as Bobby Robson's concerned. Well, that's a little weak from Jemba Jemba. And Howard again very quickly off his line. Well, he headed up his shoulder, that's why it was a weak one. Well, that's a strange ball as well. Keane. Now O'Shea. Jemba Jemba away from Dyer. Oh, what a ball that is. Solskjaer, Aaron Hughes for company. No, he's done well the full back. Yeah, all he's trying to head it off the full back, the full back beat him to it. Got the fifth goal at Old Trafford in the 5-3 win last season, the first goal for United here in the 6-2 win. But, uh, opportunities few and far between for United in this first half so far. Yeah, they've not played as well as they can play at all, Steve. They've not created anything United, they've not really troubled she given at all. Jemba Jemba. Awkward one for Bramble, they dealt with it well though. I thought he might have been a weak link prior to uh, the game as Keane yeah. is penalised. He played tremendously well, Titus Bramble. And you know, in there at the centre of the defence. Again, Skulls has it. He's trying to find Solskjaer. Oh, he's he's over it. it. Just over it. Solskjaer's kept it in though. Up against Griffin. Onto his left. Good cross. Keats with the header. And this the Roy couldn't get there. Keane's arriving. Oh, and it was desperate defending from Newcastle. And it's over the crossbar in the end from Aaron Hughes. Well, it's a great ball back across the goal from Roy Keane. And Hughes does stretch himself here to get it out. As the flag goes through to scores, it's the equaliser. Yeah, desperate defending by Newcastle. Another United corner. Giggs delivers. Oh, and again, they couldn't get the important touch. Plenty of bodies flying in there. <coughs> Must have been a Newcastle touch last because your irony says United throw. Skulls. Away by Dyer. You've got to give credit to Newcastle. See, they certainly battled the first half. Not be great to watch, but they're winning. Robert. Now Griffin. Robert wants to come inside onto his left foot. He does, but he just plays it into Ferdinand. And this still Roy to keep. And again, Newcastle have players back. Allowing United any space going forward. Very congested as Keane tries to play it over the top. And there he's picked out the wrong one. He's going to try to pick out Scholes, but he tries to pick out Ryan and just overhit it a little bit. 
That's been most of the call the first half for United, just over hitting passes. We haven't really, apart from the odd occasion, been able to get in behind either, which is what Newcastle are trying to do here. And Jemba Jemba came across with Kieran Dyer. That's a superb strength from the Cameroon international. Yeah, he did exceptionally well there, but I think it may have got the last touch as well, Jemba Jemba. Just using his strength. Final 90 seconds of normal time at the end of the first half. O'Shea. Trying to find Solskjaer, but he's overhit that again. Many times we said that in this first half, just been overhit. Aaron Hughes, who played it right back in the opening Premiership fixture for Newcastle against Leeds. Switching to left back today. Versatile can play in the central defence too. Well away by Sylvester. That came off Ferdinand to Amiobi. Important intervention from O'Shea and then Sylvester. Giggs and O'Brien. And again, without harping back to it, many will say that shouldn't have been a contest because one of them shouldn't have been on the field. Well, that's gone. United have to get on with it. 1 0 down. Solskjaer's flick. Away by Hughes. Bowyer. Now Robert. United don't want to concede on the half-time whistle. Always likely to shoot, but that one well off time. Well, he can hit them as well. Some scored a great free kick here a few years ago. Two minutes of time added on at the end of the first half. Bramble's header. Kieran Dyer has put in a lot of running in the first half as well. He's hasn't done it? exceptionally well in the middle of the park from Kieran Dyer. Been very important for them. The player continuously linked almost with uh, Manchester United. Robert looking for Shearer. O'Shea's header away. Skulls no time again, won back by Dyer. That looked a free kick, I have to say. No, it wasn't. He won the ball. He won the ball. Now Giggs. Great play. Solskjaer following up. And then fairly. Oh, he's having a bit of afters with Bramble there. A little bit of frustration, I think, from Oli Solskjaer there. Ah, he was never getting there, Steve. He was never getting to that ball at all. He was always going to be last. Has been a 45 minutes of frustration for various reasons. Well, the, the thing that's happened about the frustration is Newcastle United have frustrated Manchester United. They've not let them play. Hustling all the time, Steve. Speed. Last action of the first half now. Well, you're getting back on Scholes, and that really has epitomised the Newcastle commitment in this first half. Keen. Long one towards Giggs, one in the air by O'Brien. Jemba Jemba. This is the final few seconds now. Jemba Jemba to Scholes. To Van Nistelrooy. Oh, he wouldn't come down for him. Well, he thinks he's handballed at Arvind Hughes. Good Van Nistelrooy does. So Oli Solskjaer thinks as well. I'd like to see this. I think he handballs it as well here, Hughes. Now he uses his arm. 
Well, that is the last action of the first half. Uriah Rennie will grab all the headlines. United still feel that Alan Shearer's goal shouldn't have stood. They certainly feel that Andy O'Brien shouldn't have been on the field when he fouled Ryan Giggs going in on goal. But it is Shearer's strike that separates the two at half-time. Newcastle have frustrated Manchester United. They have the lead. He has frustrated United too, and he's also sent Alec Ferguson out of the dugout. Half-time, Newcastle 1, United 0. Welcome back to St James's Park. No changes from either side at half time. But a reminder if it stays like this, that Cristiano Ronaldo once again is amongst the substitutes for United. 14 points separated these two sides at the end of last season. But, uh, there's been no golf that wide in the second game of this season. Shearer, the goal scorer. Looking for Amiobic. Good challenge from Rio Ferdinand. And here's far as Robert, though. Keen away. Now Giggs. That's a short ball from Ryan. It's so fair to say there might have been a few stone words at half time, Paddy. I would think yes. I would think they'd been very slack the first half United. They'll have to up the tempo a little bit, Steve, and the passion will have to be a bit better as well. Shea's header. The referee has waved play on. Shearer remonstrates on the ground. Amiobi. It's a long one from Griffin. Tim Howard thought about coming for it and then saw the uh, distance on it and left it to Solskjaer. He dealt with it well. First time ball is looking for Van Nistelrooy. Bramble was always the favourite. Well, no doubt Titus Bramble was uh, upset to be left out of Newcastle's starting lineup to begin the season. The manager here, Bobby Robson, went with Andy O'Brien and Jonathan Woodgate. Well, I don't think Steve probably wasn't playing well enough to be in the team, but he certainly proved it today. It looks like he has a point to prove as well, unfortunately, for United at the moment. O'Shea. Long one from Given. Well, Newcastle had a lot of talking prior to this game about putting the 6-2 to bed. They had a point to prove. They've played like that, has, like they've had a point to prove as yes, well. Yes, they certainly have. They've been very aggressive the whole first half and not let United set alone anything. As I say, Steve, United just have to up the tempo a little bit. There was never going to be goalless, that's for sure. It's a 15 years since we've had a league game between these two here. Then did 0-0. United need a goal. Kieran Dyer. All the way through to Tim Howard from Andy Griffith. Keane on his 550th career appearance for United and Forest, given away. And this is Robert towards Amiobi. Dealt with well by United. Now Solskjaer. But can they get behind Newcastle a little bit more in this second half? Well, it didn't do it very often in the first half. Let's see what they can do here. Van Nistelrooy in the clear. Real chance for 1-1. And given. Didn't make the save. Well, he's played at the wrong side of the goalkeeper. Great ball from Roy Keane and a great chance for Rudd. Could and should have been the equaliser. He gets in front of the defender. Does everything right. Knocks at the wrong side of the goalkeeper. The final thing he doesn't do right. That was a great chance. Yeah, it's not like Rude to miss them, is it? He doesn't miss many of those. He is human after all. This is Shearer at the other end. That's read by Keane, who is the man who played Van Nistelrooy through. Just assumed at first look at that. 
that uh, I'm sure the United bench felt the same way as well, minus the manager, of course, having been sent away, that Given had saved it. No, it was a miss. Die with his foot in again. Shearer on Keane and fouling him. Now Jamba Jamba. That's a good ball from him. Phil Neville trying to thread it through to Solskjaer. Couldn't do that. Solskjaer to Phil Neville. Cross with his left foot. Away by Griffith. Skulls takes over. Well, it's a bit better from United, Steve. Onside, this time surely Van Nistelrooy, yes! They are level. Ruud Van Nistelrooy's 50th league goal for United, the 10th successive league game he scored in, and he's made up for that error a couple of moments ago in the best possible fashion. Well, it's an error by the United back four, they try and play offside. And there's no way is he offside. And he makes up for that miss in the first in the first few minutes. It's Roy Keane again. We'll see it here. He's certainly not offside. No question about that. They step out hoping to catch him offside, but he wasn't. And surely he wouldn't miss it the second time round, Rude. He doesn't. Well, I just said a few seconds ago it's a bit better from United. And they've certainly got the rewards for it. And who else? He keeps on scoring. That is the 12th successive game for Manchester United he scored in. Well, it might not be his last one, hopefully, in this game. And as I say, that is 50 league goals since his move from Holland. More importantly, today it's 1-1. Great time to score as well. When's Five there a bad the time, Steve? Half. When's there a bad time to score? Oh, great ball. Aaron oh. Hughes got back. Yeah, that was a tremendous ball from Paul Scholes. Yeah, he has to get back Aaron Hughes and does well to get it clear. United have a throw. Jamba Jamba. It was an awkward one and this is Newcastle now on the break. Amiobi, is Ferdinand going to make the challenge? He is. Lack of control from Amiobi helped United out there. Yeah, it certainly did. Did a man over as well, Newcastle. Well, I just wonder what that early goal would have done to Newcastle's confidence. There's Robert flashing it, flashing it behind. Well, just keep the tempo going, Steve United. He's under pressure for Amiobi there. Rio Ferdinand, and he just steps inside the box. He knows he's going to get another dead ball kick. So United score again away from home. It's now 29 goals in this, the fifth game of recent fixtures. Will there be more? United have a throw and they're on the up. Well, they look a lot livelier, Steve, this half than they did the first half, United. Must be sick of the sight of him like every other club. His fifth game against Newcastle, here he is again, Van Nistelrooy scoring all five. Almost turned provider there. Yeah, he just looked up. And when he looked up, he got caught. He was looking to play it, Steve, looking to try and pick someone out. And when he did, he get caught. It's a great bit of skill, a little tongue as well. This is the goal. Not going to miss it the second time round, is he? And there's the reaction, minus the manager.
Bowyer. Test of Newcastle now. Griffin. Yeah, played by a foul again, Shearer again. I thought for a moment he'd given it the other way then. Anything's possible today, but Shearer rightly was penalised. Scholes with a touch to Gix. No, he was looking for John O'Shea to make the run there, Ryan Giggs, that's why he glares at him. Well won by Keane, tremendous anticipation. He wants a bit of support and he's not got it. He's got Solskjaer inside of him. Now Jemba Jemba. He's done well to find Phil Neville, there's four to aim for here. Van Nistelrooy's header, Scholes! Oh, he should have scored. Oh, he should have scored Paul Scholes. Great header by... Ruud van Nisselrooy. It's a great ball in from... He's not offside, they, they think he's offside. A good ball in from Phil. Great touch by Ruud. And Paul should have scored. Now they're on the up United, Steve. They're playing much better. And they've now missed two guilt-edged opportunities in this second half as well. That's Bramble's head back. Well, Scholes and van Nisselrooy on any other day would have scored those chances. And they'd yes, be 3-1 up. That's for sure. Well, there's plenty to go yet. You'll be a little bit worried now, Bobby. You'll be probably about half of the first half display, but not with the start of the second half. Yeah, he's up off his seat again. He's not very happy about something. I would think he should look at his back four. Shearer's touch. O'Shea fouled by Amiobi. Lee Bowyer on his uh, home debut for Newcastle. It's his second match today. He's now played in the Premiership for four different clubs. Mikel Silvestre. Free header for O'Brien. And by Jemba Jemba. Keen again, trying to slide it through to Van Nistelrooy. He's played a couple of important balls, none less than for the goal. Yeah, I think the start of the second half, Steve, I think him and Yemba Yemba played a big part in United to take control of the game. Suddenly, St James's Park is a little quieter. United throw. Very speed it was back conceding it. Keep. Oh, beautifully done. Plenty to aim for. Right across the face. Goals. It counts. Newcastle look at the assistant, but he was never going to miss that one. And Paul Scholes scores against Newcastle for the fourth game running, and United have the lead. Well, that's the whole back four of Newcastle standing like statues. We were worried about them before the game, Steve, the back four of Newcastle. They played well the first half, but they've been all over the place this half, and I think maybe it's a good player by United as well. I mean, nobody picks up MD. Paul Scholes makes the run. Goalkeeper defenders, who wants it? Paul Scholes says, I want it. Thank you very much. It is a triple substitution from Newcastle. Viana replaces Robert. Former teammate of Cristiano Ronaldo, of course. Michael Chopra is on for Shah Amiobi. Young man we've seen plenty of times in our reserve team coverage. And a very good player, Steve. Great prospect. And uh, Jermaine Genus is the third substitution. Just waiting to come on. The man, of course, who scored that great goal in this fixture last season, the first of those eight goals. Played for the England and the 21 side in the week. 
There's confusion because it's Amiobi's number there holding up. He's yeah. already come off. It's Boya who's coming off. But uh, Jeff Winter is getting a little confused with a triple substitution. Yeah. <laughs> well, they should put their hand up and point at the player that's coming off, and that makes it a lot easier. So Boya's home debut ends. And Genus is on on the right hand side of midfield. A little bit surprised he wasn't in the starting lineup, weren't we? Yeah, but you think so as well, Steve. The manager's done the right thing because it is very hot out there. They're getting a little bit of a chasing from United. But the important thing is, there have been no defenders substituted. And that's where the problem's been. There's only Olivier Bernard on the substitutes bench, and he was dropped today. Not a lot of options for Bob Robson to change that around. It's all about concentration for United now. They're in the driving seat, they have yes, the lead. they're in the driving seat, they've got to concentrate at the back, Steve. They've got no problems in the middle of the park, they're up front. Dyer to speed. First touch for Genus. He's the Welsh captain again. Bayana. Genus takes over. Bayana. Good block from Keane. He's come to Chopra. Now to Andy Griffin. Away, away is the shout. So Leicester will do that in the end. Oh, brilliant from Van Nistelrooy. Oh, Absolutely well played. brilliant. Well played. Three players around him there. United have played their way out of trouble right from the own yeah, corner. Yeah, well done to centre forward. You think our man will come on, Ronaldo? Well, They're quite comfortable out there at the moment, United. Maybe the manager won't want to make changes because they well, well definitely but, making one change. Definitely making one, yeah. <laughs> Who travelled the furthest in internationals? Ryan Giggs. Would he be the one? I think that could be the deciding factor. We'll wait and see. 15 minutes to go. Shearer trying to get in there with Sylvester, and he has. It's Alan Shearer, and Sylvester got back brilliantly. Yeah, he did well, Alan Shearer. He won the corner, but Michael Sylvester's done well to defend it uh, across from Shearer. Yeah, he does well. He doesn't see Shearer coming. Somebody should give him a shout. Maybe they did. They defended it well. They need to defend this corner, which Viana takes. Awkward touch. And it's a goal kick in the end. Oh, the ball's bouncing about in there, Steve. It could drop to anybody. It could drop to four as well as friend. There's your answer. Yeah. Francisco Filia relaying the instructions from the manager and Mike Finn in Portuguese to Ronaldo. That's why he's uh, travelling with the first team squad at the moment. Also, of course, now to help out Cleverson. Well, we call him Joe for some strange reason. Could you tell me why? No. Maybe it's easier than Kira. Diet. Just a little bit more impetus about Newcastle after that. Triple substitution. Well, fresh legs, Steve. Fresh legs. Genus. Great challenge. Fresh from legs as well from Roy Keane. And from Giggs. He's been a real menace in this second half to Newcastle, Ryan Giggs. Well, the rest of Ryan travelled the furthest. He hasn't shown it, has he? Needed Aaron Hughes to come across to stop him there. John O'Shea. Yeah, he's done very well there, Ryan Giggs. 
Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the man to make way for Cristiano Ronaldo, the man who made all the headlines in the opening weekend of the season. He's going to get 13 minutes at St James's Park. Well, we're in for a thrill if he gets the ball, Steve. Here's his first touch, confident as ever, back to Phil Neville. Yeah, done a bit of pulling. <laughs> Got the United fans off their seats anyway. The ones inside St James's Park. Fresh from his full Portuguese debut as well. And that's the right. Done well again, Rud. He's done exceptionally well to get the throw in. I don't know what was said in the dressing room at half ten. They certainly came alive this half United. Been two different teams, really, haven't they? Yeah. That was a little short, though, and it's allowed Genus to get moving for Newcastle. Chopper and Shearer in the centre, but well, Phil Neville and Ferdinand between them. Excellent defending by Phil Neville. He's the one that's made the long run forward. And now Cristiano Ronaldo has a chance to run. Aaron Hughes is the man trying to stop him. He's taken two players away, he's still going, he's found skulls. Now Jemba Jemba. United searching for that third goal, which would wrap it up. Shearer. His uh, hands on hips out of picture, screaming at his Newcastle teammates. They can't get the ball, though. Jemba Jemba's ball in. They can now, and it's in the arms of Gibbon. Yeah, good football as well by United. That's all they've got to do, keep the ball, Steve. Concentration in the back four and keep the ball when they get it. Or give it to the outside right. Clever some warming up, not so sure he may be needed today. And we have to wait for another day for his United debut. Now then, this was a little slack, it's a chance for Kieran Dyer. Kieran came across, that was almost an opportunity for Newcastle. Well, that's a let-off for United, I thought Alan Shearer was going to hit it. Amazed he passed it. That's what we're talking about, concentration levels. Yeah. Griffin. Keane has been magnificent today. I'll uh, tell you something, he told the referee where that throw in was going, whether you wanted it or not, linesman. This was the let off. Yes, I thought she was going to hit that. I can't believe he's passed it. Yeah, just missed control, but I'm surprised Alan Sheila didn't hit it. Your calls for the man of the match as usual, 0901 88 Ring that number now, 0901 88 Vote for your man of the match and it could win you a signed United shirt from Nicky Butt. Inside the last ten minutes now. Well won by Ferdinand and he was fouled by Chopra there too. Shearer got Newcastle's goal, but since then, Ferdinand and Sylvester have stood up well. Yes, they have, and I'm surprised United haven't scored again, Steve. That is the big surprise. They've had chances. You just want that third goal to sort of kill the game off. Skulls and Genus. Bramble to Viana. Aaron Hughes now. And blocked by Keane. Ooh, almost came to Scholes then. He was looking before the ball was at his feet. That's not a bad ball. Tim Howard's got to be quick. Tim Howard was Tim brilliant. Tim Howard's done tremendous there. That was a great ball into the box. A tremendous play by the goalkeeper. He's very quick off his line, Tim Howard. We have noticed well, that, haven't well, we? Well, he's seen that quickly, Steve, because that's a dangerous situation. And get the coolness as well not to handle it, but he'd have been off. O'Shea. 
he <laughs> wants to take people on as well, doesn't he? Phil on the other wing can do it, I can do it. Gigs. He's found skulls. Didn't come off, and this is Genus. Bayana looking for Shearer. Good header from Solmaestra. Keep working, keep working. Foul by O'Brien on Van Nistelrooy, not the most subtle one. Only former Bradford City player. I wish they get the ball out the right wing, Steve. <laughs> Don't you? He's not really touched it, has he? Well, they must have heard you, because that's where it came towards, and Aaron Hughes, I'm sure, saw the highlights of the Bolton game will be well aware of already what Cristiano Ronaldo is capable of. Here he is. Challenging his former Sporting Lisbon teammate Hugo Viana. He left 12 months earlier than he did. It's his second season at Newcastle United. Well won back by United now. Inside the last seven minutes now, Scholes, whose goal at the moment separates the two sides, the Jemba Jemba. Oh, he's just overhit that Jemba Jemba. What have you made of his full debut? I think he's played tremendously well, Steve, particularly the second half. And it's not the easiest place to come to, is it? Newcastle, fervent support. Oh, what a dive. <laughs> a classic dive by Alan Shearer, wasn't it? It was a strong challenge from John O'Shea, and Andy Griffin then couldn't keep it in. Oh, that's given away by Bramble to Scholes. Ronaldo, Bramble atoned for his error. Good job he did as well as far as Newcastle are concerned. United in the first half at times were very frustrated. Now it's Newcastle's turn. Oh, you can hear the action from the fans, can't you? Ryan oh, Geek's penalised. Well, the two of them scuffling for the same ball. They could have given it either way or, or just give the throw in. it back from speed every player from United back inside their own half and United will be quite happy if the ball stays there even happy if it stays there out of play yeah Ronaldo's offside It's always a roller coaster at St James's Park. United's last six visits have resulted in two wins, two draws, and two defeats. You always know you're going to get entertainment, controversy, commitment. It's uh, been no different today. Well, that's great play by Ryan Giggs. I mean, he is a strike and he comes back to help the defence as well as being up there. He'll sleep tonight. <laughs> as fresh as him gets on the pitch Ryan for something that can bite the latest and a reminder again he played more games last season than any other member of United squad his uh, international captain Gary Speed has uh, been through the same journey as well of course that is Speed challenging for that and Nistelrooy won it O'Shea to Ronaldo, beautifully taken. Couldn't keep it in though.
O'Brien. All the hands to the pump from United. Three minutes to go, they do not. And they throw this game away now, having done so brilliantly well to turn it around and get back into it. Oh, it's gone against that. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. What are you doing, referee? That was an unbelievable He's got decision. The ball. Well, that's one of many today. And that's a subplot at the moment, the referee's performance. Keane, Scholes, wants to find Ronaldo, and does. Jemba Jemba. Back to Scholes, great football from United. Yeah, important, keep the ball, Steve. Giggs. Keep the ball. Ferdinand. Space for Scholes. And this the Roy wants it. Now Ronaldo. What can he do here? Oh, we can get the cross in. <laughs> it's cut out oh, by Shinny Given. Just a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. Goals, or oh, he gave everything to make that. Uh, he did well there, Paul. It was a, a lost cause that he won. Key. Oh, that's great play. Great play by Jemba Jemba. Referee says play on inside yeah. the last 60 seconds. Goals. Phil Neville going up for the return ball here. He's going to get back now because Bramble came across to cut it out, but Skulls cut that out. Ferdinand. The champions, champions comes from the United corner at St James's Park as they keep possession and. Enter stoppage time. I forgot the ball, Rude. It's Ronaldo. Yeah, Ronaldo, rather. Oh, look oh at great challenge. That epitomises United in yeah. the second half. Yeah, Ryan Giggs, absolutely magnificent. Two minutes of stoppage time, which we are into. Ronaldo. Oh, that's brilliant play again, isn't it? <laughs> that's brilliant, but I skill that. Handsome lad as well, Steve. But he wasn't ugly. <laughs> and this the right. Skulls to Giggs. Oh, that was almost on the end for Paul Skulls there. And yeah, straight through to Given. Always running away from Paul. And what they don't want to do is concede now. It's Chopra! Oh, what an important challenge from Rio Ferdinand. What a great challenge by Rio Ferdinand. And that was pace, Steve, that won that. That was pace. Great defending by Rio Ferdinand. Just his pace off the mark. That was a cert goal. That was a cert goal. Silvestro's header. The United throw, they're going to waste a few seconds with the introduction of Diego Forlan now for Ryan Giggs. No, he's look been at magnificent, this. Ryan Giggs. Yeah, this is great defended by Rio Ferdinand. Watch the pace of him getting across here. Tremendous stuff. Yeah, that's when you've got pace in defence, Steve. It's a big, big bonus. So Forlan will have a very brief appearance. Ronaldo. Oh, oh dear me. Sensational. Here he goes again. <laughs> and Skulls. 
Ronaldo wants it back, he's asked a lot of him there. I think the referee was in the road. Oh, he's got some skill, that kid, doesn't he? He'll lighten up many a dark day during the, during the winter. <laughs> Try to nutmeg him, didn't you? <laughs> Take Sheer your time. confidence. Take your time, play it down the corner flag, the game's over. Give it to Rude and let him keep it. Hang on to it, Rude. Hang on to it, Rude. He's hung on to it, and United have hung on to the three points as well. A game which they were second best in in the first 45 minutes. They turned around with two goals in eight minutes, and Newcastle must be sick of the sight of Ruud van Nistelrooy, who scored for his fifth consecutive game against Newcastle, and then Paul Scholes in his fourth consecutive game against Newcastle to net the winner after 58 minutes. United have begun the season with two wins from two, and they've won for the second season running at St James's Park. Newcastle United one, Manchester United two. How good a three points is that then? Um, I think it's very important that, that we've got to win here. Um, I think a lot of teams will get beaten at Newcastle, so we're delighted. It's always um, an eventful game, to say the least, when you come here, isn't it, one way or another? Yeah, it was. Obviously, even the first half, you know, a few incidents there we felt probably went against us. But, you know, we, we stayed focused the second half and um, I think we deserved a win. How difficult is it to do that when you see something as blatant as today and you see the manager sent off for, for showing his feelings as well? He says blatant. I think I, I didn't quite see it properly, but I, I think you, sometimes you have to give the benefit out to the referees, you know. Uh, for the first time, I'm going to try and defend them. But it's no, it's talking. Yeah. <laughs> no, sometimes I think it is hard. You know, the, the players are running that quick, and uh, again, I don't think it was as blatant as, as everyone's suggesting. But obviously, we felt it probably should have gone our way. But no, you just got to get on with it, and um, you know, we came good in the second half. At one 0 at half time, were you concerned in any way the way the game was going? Well, uh, you don't you don't want to be losing at half time. But we said to, our, to the players and uh, the manager obviously made a point that you know keep plugging away and keep being patient. Um, Probably the first half we knocked too many long balls, which we felt ourselves we were doing wrong. So we, we said we, we try and knock a few balls to defeat the second half, especially on the edge of the box, and uh, it came good for us. You created a lot more in the second half, didn't you, than the first 45? Yeah, second half we definitely played a lot better. In the first half, again, we were very poor. Our passing was very slack and, again, too many long passes. But the second half, you know, obviously the man got a chance to say a few words at half time. And uh, we went out and uh, done the job well. And you've got you've got guys like Scholes and Rude who are always going to get you goals. And again, two goals in quick succession sort of knocked them for six, really, didn't it? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, I said Rude and Scholes, and obviously Rude missed one or two before that. But like all top strikers, keeps getting in there, and that's the big difference, you know. Some one or two tend to hide a little bit, but Rude keeps getting in there. And um, unfortunately, I think we sh maybe should have got one or two more goals towards the end. Is that what makes him so special? And never he never lets his head drop, does he? And he's scoring 13 consecutive games now for this club. Fantastic, great achievement. Um, you know, long may it continue, but uh, as I said, yeah, he's different class. But all the other players deserve credit as well, you know, we battled well, and especially for the lads who've come back off international, he's done a bit of travelling, and to come to Newcastle on a Saturday morning and early kick-off, you know, they deserve a lot of credit. How important was the defence display today as well? Because they're a handful Shearer and Amiobi, aren't they? Oh, different class, you know, you know, we know the quality Shearer's got, we saw it with the goal, um, but the second half, I thought the back four were excellent, and Tim, and uh, the save Tim made at the end, you know, that can make a hell of a difference at the end of the season, and you know, fair play to them, they kept the concentration well, and that's what you need to do. You got the grip of the midfield in the second half, you seem to be enjoying yourself. A lot more space around, wasn't there? Yeah, I think we've we done a little bit better second half. Uh, again, we passed it, our passing was a lot better, and that makes a hell of a difference. Uh, we kept the ball more, and as I said, um, the two quick goals probably knocked them for six a little bit. We know if you come here that it's going to be a hard game, and that showed in the first half, they come 1 0 up. And you know we have uh, we had to come back from that, but in the end, uh, second half we were we were brilliant. I think we created a lot of chances. We are the best team on the pitch, and I think in the end, two one, you know, was deserved for us. Well, these one of the the more special games of the season to play, and coming up here, the atmosphere and the, the way both sides go and win, try and win the game. Yeah, of course, we know how they play. You know, uh, Bobby Robson's teams. You, you know how they're going to play with the fan base here behind the team. It's always difficult to come here. And that's why they always win so many home games. So we knew it was going to be a tough, uh, big test for us today. And uh, I think we, uh, we came through well. And once again, you've come from behind. What was the feeling at half-time? Well, we said, we said to each other, you know, keep patient, keep playing the ball. And uh, don't, don't rush things. That's what we did. Um, I think after the, after the goal, you know, we, we, were, uh, we were in control of the game. And it could have been uh, three or four, I think. And once again, you've got quick goals and quick succession to turn a game around. It was two in eight minutes today. Yeah, it was. And... Uh, I missed the first chance, which was a, which was a good opportunity, 
Um, but after that, you know, I was happy to, to score and, uh, and then level the play. You always keep going, though. You never get your head down when you miss those chances, do you? You always sense you're going to score. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not about missing. It's about the next chance you're going to get. And uh, that, that's what I always think. And that's what I always try. And uh, that one went in. And uh, scores you made, made it 2-1. And uh, we're all delighted now. And 13 games on the run you've scored for this club now, just keeping it going. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Um, but uh, you know, I, I want to keep it going. We, we had a great start of the season. Wednesday is, a, is another game and uh, new chances, hopefully. surprised to hear he scored in all four of his Manchester United games against Newcastle he got a hat-trick in one game and Scholes of course got a hat-trick in the other and those two unbelievable fixtures last season Newcastle conceded 48 league goals during the whole campaign and 11 of them were against United this is an unbelievable statistic nil-nil so far here today Lee Bowie for Newcastle Comfortable for Tim Howard in his second game for the club. One clean sheet already under his belt. Yeah, it's a big moment for him as well, Steve. First of game away from home. Certainly with the atmosphere you have at Newcastle, as good as any, you're getting any ground. Behind Old Trafford, it is the biggest stadium in the Premiership, St James's Park. And it is uh, full as always today. Ami Obi. Foul by Keane on Shearer. Well, he's got a case as well, Roy's played the ball there. I think maybe the crowd got on Shearer that free kick. Acquaintances renewed. I don't think they're very good, good acquaintances, to say the least. Well, Bobby Robson's having a long conversation with the fourth official, Jeff Winter there. Well, you know exactly what we'll be saying. He says he should get booked for that if Andy Griffith got booked. Now then, Lauren Robert is behind this free kick, which he whips in towards the back post, and Roy Keane puts behind for a corner, and he wanted Tim Howard to come for that. Yeah, and he lets Tim know as well, doesn't he? Oh, but it's an awkward one for a goalkeeper, that ball swinging away from the goal all the time. There's a crowd of players, you tell them, Tim. Here comes the corner. Well, that was a, a decent opportunity, to say the least, for Titus Bramble. That's a free header, Steve, he should do a lot better than that. I mean, he's totally unmarked when he comes into the box there. Nobody picks him up at all. Free header from about seven yards. Oh, he should have done better than that. Thankfully, he hasn't. Nobody that was marking the United him. marking. Yeah, no marking at all. Well, that's what people have got to converse with each other. Never scored for Newcastle. We want that to stay the same today. towards Shearer as ever run by Silvestre and headed back by Titus Bramble he and Ferdinand important figures today yeah as I say Steve they will fight for everything Shearer and Nami Obi and United's two central defenders have got to fight them particularly for balls like this and they've got to win them they've not won very many so far Another free header for Bramble at the other end of the field. Then won by Keane. 
gets it back from Solskjaer, Van Nistelrooy is onside. Andy O'Brien is coming across to him. And the Republic of Ireland International concedes the corner. Yeah, you've looked for good to try and whip that ball in early because all he's got in the box unmarked. Probably didn't see him. Now, arguably both sides could have scored from a corner so far. O'Shea at one end and Bramble at the other. Ferdinand is also up for this one. Short to Solskjaer. And back to Giggs. Deeper one, Given didn't get there, but uh, your irony says he was fouled, and it's a free kick to Newcastle. I think he's just hindered by John O'Shea. But you look at those balls been swung across the Newcastle box, and the defence don't look very comfortable with them. Now Jonathan Woodgate not playing is a big blow for Newcastle's back four. Well, if I buy Bramble, Steve, there's not a great deal of height in the back four. And the goalie's not the tallest either for a goalkeeper. Well won by Phil Neville. Yeah, that's brave play by Phil Neville, because Phil Neville was almost second there with Robert. But he didn't he made sure he wasn't, Phil. Jamba Jamba. O'Shea, who almost Scored his first goal here last season as well, remember? That fourth goal that crashed against the crossbar, and it was a similar run to that one. Which is one to throw. Fouled by Jemba Jemba. Another Newcastle free kick. Laurent Robert foul this time, who scored in this fixture two years ago. The first goal, that free kick. Dyer. Comfortably won back by Key. But then won back by Robert. And now Jemba Jemba. Searching ball, looking for Solskjaer. Beautiful ball as well. And he knew Phil Neville was on the overlap. This is promising for United. There's three red shirts inside. One here is Giggs. Oh, and it wouldn't quite hold up for him. Jemba Jemba now. Phil Neville's on the right again. Keane is trying to find skulls, and that's too strong for him, and he's annoyed at himself. Yeah, the original ball on side to Ryan. Giggs just gets stuck in front of Ryan, or rather behind him. Yeah, Roy just overhit that one to Paul Skulls. Must be yeah. digging deep on the energy levels today, Ryan Giggs. Of course, uh, was a late arrival back from Serbia. The manager wanted to check that he was OK for today. Yeah, I think it was four o'clock in the morning. Mind you, he was a little tired in this fixture last season, the birth of his first baby in the week. Played pretty well after that, so... He should be all right. He scored in his last two visits to St James's Park, Ryan Giggs as well. Over hit again by Keane. Hello and welcome to Premier Classics, where we take a look back at the 2003-2004 Premiership campaign. Tonight's game sees United travel to St James's Park to take on to Bobby Robson's Newcastle United. The Reds will be full of confidence following their comfortable opening day win against Bolton. Now, without further ado, let's hand you over to your commentary team of Paddy Crowland. But first of all, Steve Bauer. Well, a warm welcome to the North East and St James's Park for United's first away game in the Premiership this season. This fixture needs no introduction, it always produces goals and it's always one of the most entertaining games of the year. Well, I think Newcastle United are one of the most entertaining teams in the Premier League, Steve. I think their midfield forward and their front two are as good as anybody, but a back four, I think, sometimes lets them down. And it seems that only yesterday that we were here in April, of course, that fantastic day. We can't expect such dizzy heights today, though. Well, you never know, we always live in hope, do you? When you look at the Newcastle team and their back four again, do you think there's a possibility they're going to 
the goal. Let's have a look at the two teams for you then. Uh, United, first of all, they make two changes to the side that open the season with that victory over Bolton Wanderers. Injuries rule out Quinton Fortune and Nicky Butt. So into the defence comes John O'Shea. And there's a full debut for Eric Jemba Jemba in the centre of midfield, having appeared as a substitute, of course, against Wanderers. Ronaldo is once again on the substitute's bench, and he's joined there today by another summer signing for the first time in the 16, Cleverson. Oh, you only got to go back four or five months ago and see the display John O'Shea gave it left back here against Newcastle. Absolutely brilliant. Certainly everybody was. But I'm looking forward to Jemba Jemba. I've been saying all along, if he gets in the team, he's going to stay there. Newcastle United make three changes from the side that drew 2-2 at Leeds in their opening fixture. They're without Craig Bellamy and Jonathan Woodgate, both out injured. That's a blow to Bobby Robson, and he also drops Olivier Bernard to the bench. Aaron Hughes moves to left-back. Andy Griffin comes in at right-back. There's also starts for Titus Bramble in defence and Charlotte Amiobi up front. And there's a home debut for Newcastle on the right side of midfield for Lee Bowyer. Well, our conversation all the way at the ground, Steve, was about the Newcastle team. We heard about the back four. When you look at the back four, you think, well, I don't fancy them, do you? Griffin, O'Brien, Bramble and Hughes, you don't fancy them. Woodgate's a big blow to them, as is Bellamy up front. He's a massive blow to them as well. Ami Obi's not got the pace of Bellamy, so he shouldn't be a problem. So, you would think United should win this one. Fasten your seatbelts then for what is always one of the most memorable fixtures of the season. This is the 19th fixture in the Premiership between these two and United have only lost three and memories are still very vivid of the last time they came to St James's Park. The entire Newcastle programme today is full of Newcastle players saying we're trying to get the nightmare out of our system. There's a bouncing ball immediately for Amiobi and it's cleared by O'Shea and the offside flag is up. Footballers have long memories, Pat. Those Newcastle players were taught oh, a lesson are. that day. Yeah, without doubt, there'll be that doubt in the Newcastle players' minds. So if United can get the ball down early, Steve, and keep a hold of it, they'll certainly be worried, Newcastle. Early challenge from Ferdinand on Amiobi, who is in for the injured Craig Bellamy. The same player blocked that clearance from Phil Neville. Always helter-skelter starts these matches. Bobby Robson getting a feel of the ball as well. His 199th game in charge of Newcastle today. Really has turned this club around. Amiobi backing in. Unpredictable, this young fella, isn't he? He's got great ability, Steve. I sometimes don't think he's got the sense to go with it. But he's a big awkward handful, and so is Alan Shearer. And they're going to have a fight in their hands, the two central defenders, Mikel Sylvester and Mia Ferdinand. Skulls finding a bit of space on the left-hand side to O'Shea. First touch for Jemba Jemba on his full debut. Fair challenge on Skulls, but Jemba Jemba's won it back, and then he lost his footing. The pitch has been watered prior to kick-off, and then Skulls won it back. And Giggs has found Van Nistelrooy, who's taking on Aaron Hughes, and that was deflected, and that's a corner to United. Well, the goalie had to be alert there, hadn't he? I mean, he did well, rude to make room for the shot. Just takes a touch off Hughes, corner. Yeah, we'll see it here, he does well, Rod. Rod to turn and spin. Just takes a little deflection off Hughes and goes for the corner. O'Shea, Sylvester, Ferdinand all up for this corner which Giggs is going to take. Keane as ever is on the near post. It's over Keane though. Oh, and they were arriving. And it was uh, John O'Shea got the header in and given his Ireland teammate needed to make the save. And then the follow-up shot from Paul Scholes. Well, I think he's a bit fortunate the goalkeeper, Shea, given the header goes straight at him. I mean, there's two United players going and attack this. It's a Shea and Sylvester, and Shea's the one that headers it. Poor luck the Beasley going in. Yeah, what a start that could have been and would have been, but fortunately enough for Shea, given the ball, it goes straight at him. Well, John O'Shea, who scored his first goal for Ireland in the week, of course, against Australia, it was very close to his first goal for United as well. What a week that would have been. That's coming to the path of Amiobi, who's tried to turn Ferdinand, and Tim Howard was very brave. Big shouts from the penalty from the crowd, you have to say. Uriah Rennie, today's official, wasn't interested. Yeah, I think he lost his foot more than anything.
Nice quiet start to this fixture as always. Yeah, I think Abdulby lost his footing. I think that's what he's done. He's turned here and I think he just slips. He's fallen now. He's fallen now. He was always fallen. Ferdinand this time with Shearer, then it's Amiobi and Silvestra. Now O'Shea. Shearer has fouled him. Well, that's a real challenge from Shearer and John O'Shea. Right in front of the linesman. He's had his problems in this fixture, of course, Alan Shearer. Many felt he shouldn't have been on the pitch last season, in it. Well, I think he's lucky he got away with this one as well. It's a little bit of a wild challenge. That's an end taking offence, surely. He started off not bad, Titus Bramble. I thought he might have been a problem for Newcastle, but up to now he hasn't been. It's a Newcastle throw. Just a reminder how formidable Newcastle were at home last season before United came here and won 6-2. They'd taken 43 points from 48 at home. Really was uh, a fortress in James's Park. Only Leeds had won here. And United came and blew that apart. Good movement from Giggs. Almost got round Bramble. Well, it's amazing that 6-2 game as well, Steve. You were thinking if Newcastle United had won it, they'd a chance in the championship. Allen, United throw, which uh, Phil Neville is going to take. Fresh from another England cap. Over Keane, free header by Bramble. Well won by Ferdinand. And again. Flag is up. Well, he wasn't offside. That's the crowd that made that decision for the linesman. He certainly was not offside when that ball was played. Very, very late flag from the linesman. I think maybe a few supporters down on that bench giving him a bit of stick. Made him stick his flag up. That happens sometimes. Oh, very nearly a unfortunate ricochet there. Away by Ferdinand in the end, and that flag is up again against Van Nistelrooy. Andy O'Brien to take the free kick for Newcastle. Towards Shearer. Run by Ferdinand. Back to Aaron Hughes. Shearer again. Space out on that Newcastle right now for Andy Griffith. Boya. He's got the cross in and that's comfortable for Tim Howard. 20 minutes gone then, Pat, what have you made of it? Well, United haven't really played yet, not settled down half to the fashion movements that they know they can do. But they've battled very hard, Newcastle United. You should have let it go, you've well done, referee. He has, this is Van Nistelrooy. That was a fair challenge. He won the ball, Bramble. Well done, referee. Let that go, he won the ball there, Bramble. That was Van Nistelrooy at his very best there, creating something from nothing. But uh, full credit to the Newcastle player, just got back in time, well timed. Him a little bit of desperation in that as well, Steve. The strength of Jemba Jemba over there. Sylvester, as calm as ever back there. Solskjaer is onside. Giggs is inside of him, Scholes is in support as well. Here is Scholes. Leon says you're ironic. Plenty of commitment from both sides out there at the moment. This is Rob Air for Newcastle. Bowyer making the run forward. And it's come to Bowyer now. Tim Howard. Out of his goal to clear. Just got to be careful. Not to be caught there, United, on those movements. Now Giggs. Ooh. Oh, he could be sent off for that, Steve. He oh, he's not given it. He's not given it. He should be sent off for that. I can't believe that. Well, it is the ball at the other end cut out by O'Shea. That is a defining moment. Not even a free kick, let oh, alone a colour well, of the card. The referee bottled out, because if he does give a free kick, he has to send him off. 
Here's Giggs again with the same player. And it's out for a throw. Well, Ryan Giggs has gone racing to Hirai Rennick. All the United players well, furious. Well, he's right as well. I mean, he's right as well. He's bottled out the referee because the referee knows he's got to send him off. That's a sending off offence. I cannot believe he's not sent him off. Well, he didn't get the ball, did he? He didn't get the ball. He got the man and he's the last man. Well, Andy O'Brien, the lucky he, man. Don't know how he's got away with that. Cowardly referee, and you've got to say, Steve, he bottled out of that, the referee. He knows he's got to send him off. Well, he's now speaking out of your picture to his uh, fourth official, Jeff Winter. I think Alec Fergus has probably said something to him. He could be sent off here, the manager, I think. <laughs> and he's uh, had a word in his ear. Yeah, but that's all down to the referee making a bad decision. Oh, he is getting sent off. Yeah. So you're right, Rennie has sent Alec Ferguson from the dugout. He's only getting sent off because of bad refereeing. Well, Jeff Winter had a part to play in that as well. Well, obviously, Alec said something to him. Jeff Winter could take no other action, probably. Ball is back in play. Skulls. Jemba Jemba now. Runs straight into Kieran Dyer. Now Griffith. Well, you just wonder how important that incident could be. Bad referee and Steve. Now, if players and managers get into trouble with bad decisions, the referee should get into trouble for that decision. He should also be helped by his assistant as well in that situation. Well, we know how brave assistants are, don't we? I don't know why they're there sometimes. This is Van Nistelrooy. No, oh, the referee saw that one, he was right on top of him. Well, you're right, Rennie. Oh, that's pathetic. That is pathetic, referee. That is pathetic. Five yards difference, and he's playing it from behind where the free kick was taken, was given. He's had his moments of controversy in his refereeing career. He sent off Roy Keane, of course, last season at Sunderland. Here is Keane. Solskjaer couldn't get round Hughes, this is Scholes. Now Jemba Jemba. Dyer now. Loves to carry the ball from those midfield areas, Kieran Dyer. This is Aaron Hughes, and now Robert. Dear me, dear me, referee. Well, that's a free kick against United. Paul Scholes is not too impressed. Well, I'm not either, Steve. Even if it did hit his hand, how in God's earth can the referee see it with the position he was in? Has he gone by the crowd? Now, these are dangerous situations. Robert with that left foot. Free header, goal. Newcastle lead, it's him again. Alan Shearer, unchallenged, to head past Tim Howard from a free kick that was very, very dubious, to say the least. Well, Steve, he's pissed Mikhail Silvestre. He's pushed Mikel Sylvester, what you see it? Sheila's pushed him in the back. That's why the United players are complaining. He's pushed him in the back. Watch here. Pushes Mikel Sylvester, down he goes. Yeah, you've got every one of the Newcastle players back round, they're not very far from their own goal, every one of them. Ferdinand. Too strong for Van Nistelrooy, free header for Andy O'Brien. Back in from Ferdinand, the flag is up. The free is going to play on because uh, Shea Given, the Newcastle goalkeeper, has it in his hands. Well, he's controlled that with his hand, hasn't he, as well? <laughs> Dear be referee. And you're watching the same game as me.
Newcastle throw. Newcastle have only beaten United in three of the last nine league meetings here. United haven't won too many of those either. So they're leading the reigning champions by a goal to nil at the moment. Bumble again playing his part. The expression doesn't tell the story as far as Bobby Robson's concerned. Well, that's a little weak from Jemba Jemba. And Howard again very quickly off his line. Well, he headed up his shoulder, that's why it was a weak one. Well, that's a strange ball as well. Keane. Now O'Shea. Jemba Jemba away from Dyer. Oh, what a ball that is. Solskjaer, Aaron Hughes for company. Yeah, he's done well a full back. Yeah, all he's trying to head it off the full back, the full back beat him to it. Got the fifth goal at Old Trafford in the 5 3 win last season, the first goal for United here in the 6 2 win. But, uh, opportunities few and far between for United in this first half so far. Yeah, they've not played as well as they can play at all, Steve. They've not created anything United, they've not really troubled she given at all. Jemba Jemba. Awkward one for Bramble. They dealt with it well, though. I thought he might have been a weak link prior to uh, the game as Keane yeah, is penalised. He's played tremendously well, tight as Bramble. And now Rock in there at the centre of the defence. Again, Skulls has it. He's trying to find Solskjaer. Oh, he's just over -hit it. it. Just over -hit it. Solskjaer's kept it in though. Up against Griffith. Onto his left. Good cross. Keats with the header. And this the Roy couldn't get there. Keane's arriving. Oh, and it was desperate defending from Newcastle. And it's over the crossbar in the end from Aaron Hughes. Well, it's a great ball back across the goal from Roy Keane. And Hughes does stretch himself here to get it out. As the fact is through to scores, it's the equaliser. Yeah, desperate defending by Newcastle. Another United corner. Giggs delivers. Oh, and again, they couldn't get the important touch. Plenty of bodies flying in there. Must have been a Newcastle touch last because your irony says United throw. Skulls. Away by Dyer. You've got to give credit to Newcastle, see, they certainly battled the first half. Not be great to watch, but they're winning. Robert. Now Griffith. Robert wants to come inside onto his left foot. Alan Shearer has had his problems with uh, today's official, Uri Rennick. He's the only referee ever to have sent him off in the Premiership. And there was uh, a bit of unhappiness in the Newcastle camp that he was the official today. Aaron Hughes to Bowyer on his home debut to speed. That's comfortably through to Tim Howard. Well, Amiobi will feel he has a point to prove today as well. 
Well, I think the problem the United two centre defenders have got is they're going to have to battle against the two front men. They're going to have to fight them. Away by Sylvester. Little nudge there from Andy O'Brien. It's coming out of Keane. Bramble in on Van Nistelrooy. Titus Bramble again. Kieran Dyer takes over. Now Andy Griffith. Always serves up so much incident, this fixture, not to mention goals. 27 goals in the last four games between these two. Doesn't say a lot for the defences, does it? <laughs> and we could have had a goal already through John O'Shea. It's Gary Speed, who captain Wales in midweek, of course. Just a note on that, in terms of perhaps later on in the game, United have eight players in their starting lineup who featured in internationals this week. Newcastle only have three, of which Speed is one. Yeah, it makes a difference if there's a lot of travelling involved. It doesn't help players. And then you've a situation with Nicky Buck getting injured as well. No wonder managers go off their head. And that's why there's a full debut for that man today, Eric Jemba Jemba. Certainly looks ready for it, doesn't he? Uh, not a problem for him, Steve. Very confident young man. Dyer to speed. No uh, genus in the Newcastle starting lineup. Who scored the goal, of course, early on last season. He's on the bench today. Robert Hughes, that's not a bad ball, and that was an alert goalkeeping from Tim Howard. Well, good goalkeeping has got to come for that because Ami Obi's at the back post. Ferdinand. It's over hit right the way through to Shea Given. He played every minute and every second of games last season for Bobby Robson. Yeah, he'll have that 6-2 score in his mind as well, Steve. Don't worry about that. He won't. The past is the past. Shearer to Amiobi. Lee Bowyer, who played against United last season in West Ham colours. Back with Ferdinand, Bowie's former Leeds teammate, of course. Still good friends, Keane. Now Solskjaer, scored in both fixtures against Newcastle last season. Just a little over, hit towards Phil Neville on the overlap. There's the first challenge from Jemba Jemba, and that was a fair one. It's a throw-in, says Uriah Rennie. Yeah, he got the ball, Jemba Jemba, didn't he? Yeah, he certainly puts himself about. You like to see that in midfield players. Speed looking for Shearer. Good jump from O'Shea. Griffin. That's rolled into Kieran Dyer. Sylvester sticking closely to him. Back out to Shearer. Might fall here for Gary Speed, who likes a shot, as we know. And in the end, he's uh, overhit that one for Lauren Robert. Yeah, not one of his better passes, is it? Signed a new one-year contract with Newcastle in the summer, an extension to his current deal, Gary Speed. And this the Roy. Skulls drifting in. Strong challenges out there at the moment. There's another one, but uh, United have it back. Well, it's something you would expect the first ten minutes of any game, Steve. A lot of tackling. Skulls looking for Solskjaer, battling away with Bramble. And what he might lack in pace, he has got in strength, Titus Bramble. Back in the Newcastle starting lineup today. Important challenge, and a very good one from Sylvester on Shearer. And this the Roy. Caught by Andy Griffin. Yeah, he's going to get booked for that. That's a well tackle from the back. Not allowed to tackle from the back. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a late challenge. He doesn't do a great deal of damage to it, but well, he made it look good as well, good, didn't he? Well, it's taken almost 10 minutes, but the first yellow card is out of Uri Rennie's notebook, and it's going to the former Stoke City player, given his chance by Lou Macari when he was the manager of Stoke, Andy Griffin. Well, it's a bit unfortunate to be booked, Steve, because certainly Alan Shearer's challenge and John O'Shea was a lot worse than that. Now, it's uh, given a free kick a long way out. Must be nearly 40 yards, this. Uh, surely Paul Scholes is not going to hit this, is he? Giggs has left it. There's been an encroachment. Well, it's not the kicker's fault. Shearer's doing the encroaching. He's got to wait till the ball's played. So it's not Roy Keane's fault. He can't move until the ball's kicked. And it is Scholes, and it is Shearer who blocks it. Back in from Jamba Jamba and the offside flag is up. Who van this